Welcome back to another Idea Spotlight here on Beyond the Brick. I'm Joshua Hamlin, and my guest this week is Tom with his World Expedition Project. And I'd like to thank Clone Army Customs for supporting this Idea Spotlight episode on Beyond the Brick. If you want to find incredible Lego Star Wars minifigures and accessories, go over to clonearmycustoms.com. They just restocked their fantastic metallic commando minifigure with 363 degree pad printing. It looks amazing. Go check that out and all of their other great products. There'll be a link in the web and a link in the description to their website. Now, I want to thank uh, Tom for joining me here to talk about his really cool world expedition ideas project. So if you want to start off with kind of the idea behind this project, Tom, and uh, how you decided to put this on ideas. Sure. So um, the last, not the last, the last before that, the minifigure series that came out, um, they released the Jungle Explorer minifigure. Remember that one? Yes. And then obviously everybody knew that was inspired by Johnny Thunder. So I sort of just take, took it upon myself to sort of design a set, like a modern version of the old adventure set for him to go inside. And then I thought, you know, there's all these other iconic characters from the line as well. So I thought I would do the same with all of them. But then a city set came out in January of a little safari truck with this minifigure in it. Yeah. To me, that looked like an updated version of uh, Gale Storm from the old line as well. So I thought it's either Lego are doing it themselves, like sort of secretly, or <laughs> sort of, you know, giving little Easter eggs to previous characters. So I thought I would just, you know, make a new story, you know, bring back old characters and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just sort of remaking the old theme, really. There was some Lego designer secretly updating the minifigures one by one in different sets till they could yeah, release it all. <laughs> yeah, because it looks too similar to the old one. So I thought I'd make a set for them to go in, so. The funny thing is, we just had that Haunted House announcement, which does have all those Easter eggs from this theme, so something yeah. like that really isn't too far-fetched when you think about it, the fact that they would be kind of behind-the-scenes updating a lot of these. No, exactly, because when I saw, I think it was yesterday it was revealed, I sort of saw that as like a, a just an open door to, they can see that people are into the adventure sets and people do want it. So that just, I think, maybe helps this out even more. Um, but no, I think that haunted house is looking really cool. Um, yeah, it's sure super cool. Right For people who haven't seen the haunted house or ha aren't aware of the Easter eggs in there, we actually have a video we put up a couple days ago. So you can check that out if you want to see kind of all the different Easter eggs that they pulled from some of these older themes like this. Uh, but they, they did a great job with those throwbacks. But now let's dive on into the more of the details of your project, Tom. So so take us through kind of each section of this. I know you've got the the vehicles and then you've got kind of the buildings. So show us each part of this. So um, the story starts that they um, are in the jungle. So there's this jungle temple here that they, uh, you know, are sort of discovering. And then there's a dinosaur like treasure. And that's a reference to the season three of Adventures when there was dinosaurs um, in the series. I don't know why they're dinosaurs, but they were there. <laughs> um, but then when you... Uh, approach it this falls back and there's a secret treasure map oh very um, nice the pharaoh's new temple that he's got um but then also there is a trap door there um and then there's spears that fall down as well if you pass the trap door um and uh yeah i've just detailed it out around everywhere just making it look old and ruined and stuff um and so if, if you can real quick on on that that part of the build talk about a little bit of how you you incorporated that playability there with some of those features you were showing kind of the yeah, mechanism for that um, a couple of the big ugly rock pieces burps um on the sides uh, and then i just constructed some some steps and then i've stuck a trap door in the middle and sort of just built around it with the macaroni tiles at the top just to hide it as much as i could um and I got it quite seamless, actually, looking at it on camera. Yeah. Not bad. Um, and, yeah, so, like I said, the reference of the uh, the dinosaur from Season 3 of Adventure is... And then I designed the treasure map. So um, I did a bit of Photoshop for all the stickers in these uh, in this set. So I um, made a new map inspired by the old ones from the sets. Um, and it shows what they're trying to find. Um, I did a palm tree that was inspired by the one in the Flintstone set. Um, I really like the design to that one, actually. And then just added some bones, skeleton, a couple of animals. And I added the little 
chameleon there from the um, <laughs> minifigure of the jungle explorer. That's a great start. Very cool. Um, so, yeah, then I started to research the old theme, looked at the vehicles and stuff. So I saw that they used to drive a lot of 4 by 4s and Jeeps. So um, I sort of made like a one that looked like them, but a bit more updated. Um, and then I didn't actually own the old video camera piece. If you remember that, that used to be in those sets. Right. So I um, rebuilt one with uh, some frying pans. <laughs> um, just because I tried two by two round plates and they just looked way too big. And then studs were too small. So I just, yeah, I just made a, set some frying pans on the top, made a little movie camera. Um, it looks great. It takes you a minute to even realize that what 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 those pieces are that you put in there. <laughs> it just it just worked, and I yeah, I positioned the the pieces together. And I was like, I ain't too bad actually. So, <laughs> um, just went with that, and because I I liked the idea of them filming their journey together. You know, um, oh yeah, you got the picture up there. So I um. Yeah, I added the backpacks that came on the um, Jungle Explorer on the back, and I just filled it with uh, stuff. There's magnifying glass, there's a frying pan, and there's a blank book that's in there as well, and that's a part of the um, temple. There's a feature where this book transforms and text magically appears in the book. Um, but I'll show you that when I get to the um, temple. Um, for the villains, Baron Von Baron, I updated him by giving him a big moustache um, rather than a printed one on his face just because I thought that would look better and they had the pieces and again like the jeep that's just loaded with stuff, dynamite you name it, whatever they want to try and find their treasure and steal it and I've got Sam Sinister as well um, so yeah that was just like a modern design, I like the they had this old truck in the, um, the Pharaoh's tomb set that I really liked so I just sort of did a modern you know, version of that, also inspired by Indiana Jones um, in the Lost Ark, those types of vehicles that they would use going through the desert. Right, those um, half-track type of vehicles looks, look yeah. really cool there. Yeah, exactly. And then I designed that one, the, the half-track, like here, so I didn't actually have many parts with me. I had the original tank that I made. It was originally a tank, and so I used some pieces from an Overwatch set I bought, and that safari truck that that minifigure came in and sort of mashed them together to make this half track. Um, and I, I thought it looked all right, actually. Um, I didn't think it looked too bad. Um, yeah. So um, their journey uh, continues to Egypt, where we've got the temple here. And then, yeah, I made my own stickers for the, for the pillars at the front. And then you've got a bit of hieroglyphics here at the top. So just some there. custom decals then. Yeah, just made a couple. I mean, I, I don't know if they would be printed if this became a set or what, but... We, we, we can got, only hope so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I would hope so. Um, then we got the Sphinx at the top here, and there's a, a feature where you take the a blank book, so, so it's blank. Yeah. Like and then you would place it in the Sphinx at the top, and then the book comes back out here. Right now, it's just got a Harry Potter tile in it because that's all I had to hand, but it's now got something inside it. So that would be a feature where, you know, you could play with it how you want, but it could tell you maybe a secret of how to open the door or how to avoid booby traps because um, it's got some booby traps in here, actually. So you've got like a sliding door there like that. Um, if you steal this crystal at the front here, so just reach it. There's these blades that fall down at the bottom, just there. Um, on the back, you've got like different bits here. You've got the sarcophagus there with the pharaoh inside. I updated him too with some like modern pieces. And then you've got this like wall here. So if I can just, yeah, you turn that and then the crystal reveals itself there. Oh, that's always cool. <laughs> so when you arrive, it looks like the crystal's already been taken. Um, you know, urging people to leave but it's actually there it's just on the other side of the wall um and then there's another gem here and you call that and then this would fall on top of you the sphinx um and then yeah i included the old sarcophagus just because i thought that was a really classic piece in the old adventure sets um i don't know if they would reproduce this for this set or um but i just i love this piece so much so i, I felt i had to include it and uh yeah i updated the pharaoh as well just with some newer pieces try to get it to look like the old one just um but yeah that's pretty much the set all in all 
Um, there is a couple of more features here and there, but obviously people would find them, find out for themselves. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's a great shot of all the all the minifigures lined up with kind of each of them has their own sort of accessory that, that kind of adds to their character. Yeah. So that's yeah, I remade really really cool. Doctor Lightning. Um, yeah, Gale Storm and Johnny Thunder. Uh, Lego Lego produced them. Um, and then yeah, I remade the Pharaoh and Baron Von Baron and Sam Sinister. Um, and yeah, that's what they're all looking like. And I tried to get them to look sort of in a similar style that that Johnny Thunder updated figure was looking like. Um, but yeah, I, th I think they turned out okay actually. And your temple design I like because I feel like it really fits well within the the kind of Lego theme aesthetic of having the facade and then kind of those rooms on the back that each kind of have their own details in it. So was that something you you kept in mind as kind of thinking about how would a Lego designer approach this or if this was an official set, what would this look like? Yeah, so um, I, I did like a research, I did some research on like play sets and not like vehicle themed stuff. So just building stuff like that. And, you know, you always see Lego stuff with the, you know, you have the base, the thinner walls, um, and then, yeah, most of the structure goes into the building, but they still have the rooms in the back. I mean, it is actually, it is quite deep um, in the side view. Uh, but, yeah, um, that, that is something that I did take into consideration, looking at how would they do it if they were to do just one more set based on adventures. Um, but, yeah, yeah, so I yeah, started off with the base plate, built upwards, and then I didn't make it too big because... Um, I wanted this to be a set that was that wouldn't be too expensive to buy, um, but I wanted it to also also to capture the classic uh, things about that theme that people love. So, right, and I think you did a great job of that. Even the play features you've included remind me of some of the things we've seen in Lego sets over the years, with like yeah. spears coming down or something swinging out. All of those types of features I think fit very well within, uh, especially the sort of adventures themes like this. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I also did during the research. I looked at like what play like features did people love. Watched a bit of Indiana Jones. Just looked at different things that you would find in these old style temples and stuff. And it is yeah, spears, trapdoors, things falling on top of you, axes swinging, all the deadly stuff. Um, yeah, and so yeah, I just put in yeah, just all the you know the just uh, basic booby traps. You mentioned wanting to make sure it, the set wouldn't cost too much. And I always think it's interesting to, when talking to people about an ideas project, kind of what their uh, price point would be in mind. So what 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 is your idea with, with the set as it is right now and kind of where this would fall in the, the price point range? I mean, I think I worked out, I mean, I didn't count them because I don't know if people do that, but the, I think the piece count was, I think, 700 pieces, roughly. Um, but because it is Lego's own brand, it's not a, it's not a license. I think they because they normally do those a bit cheaper. So maybe like sixty, I mean pounds here. I don't know what that would be in dollars. Um but that's maybe yeah, maybe sixty pounds, I think. You get maybe a good like seventy or eighty dollars somewhere in there. Yeah, something like that. Um and I don't know if they would increase it if they were prints or stickers. I mean they, they do like to print ideas sets, don't they? Um Yeah, they they try to I think make a little more of a premium product with a lot of yeah. the ideas sets based on what we've seen in the past. Yeah, and I try to put the stickers in places where they do normally print things i didn't put stickers in weird places because i know they do have to develop new machines to print on new pieces so um i just mainly put the stickers on those pillars those tiles you know just the simple places where you would see stickers um but yeah hopefully they would print them you know um it would be nice <laughs> And uh, this is a great start, certainly, to rebooting the theme, so it'd be awesome if LEGO would release this. Do you have ideas for, for other sets uh, to continue the, the expansion or maybe other locations around the world that would kind of lend itself? You've got kind of the jungle location here. Uh, any other ideas in your mind right now that you think would be cool if, if LEGO wanted to pursue uh, this theme further? I mean, I think, um, I mean, after that Haunted House set came out yesterday, it's, it, it pres I presume that Baron Von Baron is dead. Um I don't know, but it would be nice to have like a new villain. I'll keep the heroes the same. Just, um, you know, maybe they fight pirates or, I don't know, maybe they could have a crossover with another theme. Um, classic space, maybe. Because um, they could look into time travel, maybe. Um, <laughs> I, who, who knows? It, it is an odd theme, because especially it got weirder with uh, season two. But they could, they could just find other treasures, you know? Um, 
Yeah, who, who knows, actually? Yeah, who knows? That's the great thing about a theme like this. It lends itself to so many possibilities, and you can just yeah. send, send the characters out on adventures to do almost anything, and it makes for some great sets and a great theme. Yeah, yeah definitely. I would agree. Well, very impressive work. I'm glad you put this out there on LEGO Ideas. I've been looking at the, the comments in the chat here, and lots of people are excited for this uh, to become a set. So uh, and everyone watching, make sure you go over to LEGO Ideas and support Tom's project. We'll have a link to the project in the description of this video. So you can just click on that and lend your support over there. It'd be great to see this uh, reach 10,000 and uh, possibly reboot what is uh, a fan favorite theme for sure. A lot of people really, really like these sets when they were out originally. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd love that. I mean, I think a lot of people would love that. And that's why I made it. I made it for fans who do want this theme to come back, even just for one set. It would be nice, I think. Um, yeah. Exactly. Uh, I think a lot of people agree with you, but I, I appreciate you taking the time to, to show us the build today, Tom, and uh, keep up the good work. Best of luck getting to 10,000. I think you'll need it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can do our part to lend some support your way. But once again, everyone, make sure you go uh, check out the link in the description. Go vote for Tom's project and throw your support behind it and uh, do what we can to get it to 10,000 there. Uh, thank you, Tom. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you soon. Thank Bye. You.